to invite uh, the Honorable Dr. Vivian Poi. The Asian Heritage Month was brought to Canada by the good effort of Dr. Poi. When she was the Senator, she tabled a motion in the Senate. She's also the founding patron of the Asian Heritage Month, the Canadian Foundation for Asian Culture. Uh, Vivian, please. Thank you, Stephen. Mayor Tory, honored guests and friends, thank you all for joining us this afternoon as we launch the Asian Heritage Month Festival on this 20th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of May as Asian Heritage Month by the federal government, which took place in the Museum of Nature. It was a very memorable occasion. This month, as we do each May in the past 20 years, we remember the sacrifices and contributions of Asian Canadians who came before us and we honor those who have made life better for us. I was at historic Fort York a few days ago, honoring the late Q. Dop Yip. He was the first lawyer of Chinese heritage and he was instrumental in lobbying the federal government to repeal Chinese exclusion in the Immigration Act after World War II. Without many people like him, Canada would be a very different country today. And I want to add, certainly the Poi family would not be here in Canada. Asian Heritage Month gives us the opportunity to highlight the achievements of so many Canadians of Asian heritage in the arts, music, literature, sports, media, in government, in the military, and in many other professions. Asian Heritage Month is about making friends, trying each other's foods, enjoying each other's company. I value the friends I've made over the years, and we're still in touch even though many of the A Asian Heritage Month societies across Canada are now run by the younger generation. Making friends with people from different parts of the world is how we build inclusive societies. In spite of the rise of racism against all things Asian since the pandemic, we love our city, Toronto. Toronto gained its reputation in no small way as the most multicultural city in the world due to its large percentage of citizens from Asia. Now that our city is in beautiful bloom and the pandemic is more or less contained, it's time for renewal and we need to pause and think of our way forward for a much more inclusive city. Asian Heritage Month give us time to reflect on what we have achieved in Canada and in our province in Ontario and how we should move forward in this diverse country of ours. Thank you again for joining us in this wonderful festival. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you, Dr. Poi, for making Asian Heritage Month in Canada possible. 